All right, here I am getting set up. You can see what I'm gonna be eating here. Where are we? We're at George's Cody Island Hot Dogs and it's in Worcester, Massachusetts. And they have a website that I'm gonna put up in just a second here. And I would recommend going to the website because they have a really cool video and um, it's a really cool website actually. I could never do a video as nice as they had on there. So um, yeah, I'd go there. So what am I doing? This is not an official uh, challenge video. This is just like um, something I always wanted to do. And I had a couple people that helped me fund this video actually. So um, what I wanted to do is come to this hot dog place. Because this hot dog place has been around at this location for like well over, uh, over 100 years. Yeah, I think it's like 105 years, 104 years this, this year. So it's a really, really old hot dog place. This place has been around a long time. Actually... All the benches, you can kind of see in the background a little bit there. And there's a little sign there that says don't don't engrave the benches. But um, they're all carved with initials and all kinds of stuff. And it's a really cool place. If, if you're ever in Worcester, Massachusetts, I definitely recommend coming here. But um, as far as I knew, and there was no record for, like, who ate the most hot dogs here. And it's not something that they really promote. Um, when I first got there, they were kind of a little bit, you know, reticent about... Um, letting me do this but they, they they were they were pretty good with it and actually after it started they were really really good with it so it was kind of a fun experience um i'm not really sitting like in the main area of the restaurant so i'm kind of tucked in the back here so you're not really going to see like a lot of people around me and stuff like that actually that was kind of a mistake i, I wish i would have set up um where there was more people and they could have watched and stuff like that i think i could have got some pretty good reactions eating all these hot dogs uh, this place gets very, very, very busy. Actually, when I first got here, the line was only like a couple of people long. And within like five minutes, the line was like 40 people long. So this place can get very busy very, very quick. Anyways, I've always, I heard different stories like about who ate the most hot dogs here. Someone told me a story about how a w, an old time WWF wrestler came in here and ate, uh, I think they said he ate 40. And then uh, the owner told me stories about how like college kids would come in and somebody would eat 20 or 22 or something like that. But no one really knew like what the record was. It was always just like someone said, someone said. So I wanted to come in and set an official record or I don't even know if it's going to count for anything or go anywhere. Just in my head, I wanted to have an official record for the most amount of hot dogs eating at George's Coney Island in Worcester, Mass. So um, I came in and my plan was to eat 50 and you can see right off the bat they gave me 25 They were very very helpful and it was a very fun experience. So these hot dogs are called All the way which means they had chili sauce on them. They had uh, onions and they had uh, Mustard now in the background. There's some music every now and then so uh, actually that's why they I sat over here Because it was the quietest place. There wasn't a lot of music um I think next time I, I would have set up in a busier place, like I said earlier. But yeah, so I'm going through these hot dogs pretty good. They're really, really tasty. Um, the only thing I would have changed on them, but I didn't want to change them. I want to have them just like they said. I would have put ketchup on them as well. But other than that, really tasty. The um, the hard part was the onions because there was a lot of onions here. <laughs> Each one of these things was loaded with onions. I don't even know how many, like, I, I was... It must have been at least a pound of onions I ate, and that was the hardest part. But other than that, they're really tasty, and uh, yeah, so I'm almost done with the first 25. I have a stopwatch in the back there. Like I said, this is not an official challenge. There's no time limit or anything like that, so I didn't put it up in the screen, and um, it, it, actually the time doesn't matter. This is just a uh, fun little challenge here. So my goal was to get 50. This is the first 25. <sighs> so... What else do I want to talk about this? Um, the owner, the owner was very, very nice about letting me come in to do this. Um, like I said, it was kind of un, un, uh, unusual. I've been doing other restaurants in the area, and I think they kind of knew, heard of that, or maybe heard of that. So um, that that helped out in letting me come in. And this is what I would like to do. I, there's not a lot of restaurant challenges around me, so I would like to try to do more of these videos where I could, uh, you know, spotlight some of the local businesses or ro local restaurants and make a challenge of what they have there even though it's not an official challenge just kind of a fun thing to do um so my goal was to do 50 of these hot dogs now um 
as I was finishing up the first 25, I was thinking to myself, I was like, oh, I mean, this, is, this isn't going to be a walk in the park. This might be a little bit harder than I, than I thought because I thought I knew these hot dogs were a lot smaller than um, the kind we eat at Nathan's at, at, at Coney Island. So I thought it might be easy, but it didn't include all the onions and mustard and, and chili sauce. So I don't know what's, what's harder, one of these hot dogs or one that we eat at Coney Island. Plus I'm dunking them and I'm not really enjoying them at Coney Island. It's nice to have a hot, a hot dog challenge here that actually tastes good. So I, was, I think they were asking me there. I can't hear the audio as I'm speaking here, but um, they asked me if I wanted some more hot dogs, and I said, "Yeah." They were they were, as this as the challenge went on, they started walking by and watching me more and more, and I, and I think that that made me actually feel pretty good about finishing the challenge. So we'll see if I get all 50 or or uh, how many I get to here. You know, let this play out. I'll come back towards the end. All right, so as you can see, I have the last of the hot dogs. This is 25 more here. That'd give me a total of 50. I thought that'd be kind of a good number to get. <laughs> Everybody keeps asking me if I'm okay. Um, that would be kind of a good number to set for a record, 50. Nice round number. Everybody can remember it pretty, pretty easily. So um, yeah, these hot dogs are still tasting pretty good. I think it makes sense. <laughs> Like I said, I was kind of in the back. The only really, only people who really knew I was here was the um, employees. I, they're, everybody else was eating out front of the restaurant. It's kind of they have a lot of seating at this restaurant here. I got to do some fast forwarding here, people, because of the um, there's music in the background and stuff like that. So uh, sorry about that. But this this place has actually some nice um, restaurant background sounds. 
So, uh, yeah, no, you can kind of play a little game here, try to figure out which hot dog. I kind of went, grabbed them randomly. I didn't stay to the same plate. So if you want to do that, you can try to guess which hot dog I'm going to grab next. Um, besides that, this is a uh, really fun challenge. Actually, it's kind of just a self, self-made challenge, really. It doesn't really count for anything. Um, and I was here by myself. I think it would have been better if I came with somebody else as well, just because it would have been better. I got, would have got some banter back and forth. However... Um, come to th I just think about it. I wasn't uh, by myself here. There was a, a, one of my listeners. His name was Michael. Uh, one of my YouTube subscribers uh, actually came to watch, but I didn't. I didn't know he was there. I didn't know what he looked like, and I didn't know what he, he was there until after the challenge was over. So he could have came over actually and uh, sat down and stuff like that. I wouldn't have mind. Um, but so that was pretty cool. That was the first time I actually had anybody come out and watch my. Um, challenge so i just signaled there i got 10 more to go i actually was starting to feel a little bit full i, I didn't really do any prep for this challenge and i didn't know how tough it was going to be so um i just came and did it but you know what these things are delicious all the way to the end and hot dog practice is going to start in i don't know another month or two or something like that and i'm not going to be able to have another delicious hot dog like this for a while so i really i was enjoying this challenge and, and eating these hot dogs like i said the only thing i wish they had on them different was a little bit of ketchup i like ketchup on my hot dogs really good. <laughs> so yeah um th this back way was like to, to the um well they do all the food prep and stuff like that and i think they wash dishes in the back here as well it's tough to tell i couldn't really see through the swinging doors but um so not a lot of patrons come this way so there's just employees but they they, they were very supportive uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna let this play out. If there's more, there's gonna be more fast forward. I'm gonna fast forward in a second here because there's a lot of a lot of music that they play in this restaurant, and um, I didn't really feel it appropriate since it wasn't a real challenge to ask them to shut it off or anything like that. So you're gonna have to just deal with my poor editing and fast forwarding skills and stuff like that. And I'll eat. See if I finish these last three. <laughs> I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. I'm gonna, but. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. And if anybody in the central Massachusetts area knows of another restaurant, that would be fun. Maybe there's another hot dog place or another place that has um, a giant, you know, we call them grinders around here in New England um, if, or a giant pizza or something like that. You think I might want to try? Just let me know. Uh, send me an email. My email's in the uh, video description. And I'd love to try some more restaurant challenges in the central mass area. All right, thanks for watching.